Okay, you are alive. Just. All right, let's let's uh, let's go over. Let's go over a few things. What do you want to know? <clears throat> well, I want to know about the turkey hunting. What's your obsession with turkey hunting? And why it hasn't gotten old to you over however many years? Because they're all different. It never gets old because they're all different. You never hardly ever kill one the same way over and over again. So after, so after however many birds you've killed in a row in Indiana, it's still not. No, I don't get tired of it. Yeah, you haven't had enough. <laughs> Love it. I don't know. I just need to take the antlers off of it. That was the first 10 pointer I ever killed. Really? Yeah, I killed it with a recurve. All right. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. You know, good eating. Good eating, yeah. What's, uh, the, what's your favorite it's a good way, way to, to cook get, them? Cook them? Oh, I like the, the turkey nuggets. Yeah. Fried turkey. Kentucky nuggets. kernel batter and maybe some egg and mix it up and fry them up like that. Okay. So That's let's, good let's, go, anyway. let's go down memory lane real quick. This turkey here, we, there was three turkeys killed in our county this year, and this was the article that was in the paper. And me and my me and my dad and my brother killed those those three. Three turkeys killed in this county, yeah. Brown County. That was '84. And they put it in the paper because there was three. Yeah, Bayou Bill Scrifus even called me and did an well, interview. Why was there only three? Then. For years, you couldn't hunt north of State Road 46, so. As more and more ground become open, we just tried we tried to stay ahead of the curve mm -hmm. and scouted and scouted and scouted and found birds on state ground, you know, in different places where we could get into, um, getting permission because there wasn't a lot of birds, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, so a just, lot of these birds are from public. Lots ground. of birds are from public. Killed lots of them. There's a lot of a lot of public in our county, and uh, there's a lot of birds to date on the on that public ground. Mm -hmm. So. You just got to get after them. There's a recurve kill right there. The back shot. Back shot. The best shot ever. Hmm. Here's your truck. So, yeah, you know where that picture's taken at, right no. here on the property that I own now. Really? Yeah, because my buddy that killed this turkey in Kentucky, he lived over here. Hmm. And I took this to his house and we took a picture of it over there. You're obsessed? Yeah. With turkey hunting? Yeah. How can you not like turkey hunting? Nah, but that's what I say. <laughs> right? I killed my first bow and or my first bow turkey in '92, which is this photo. That's way before we had blinds and all that nonsense. So, just uh, off really the ground, <laughs> behind a tree, and I put some uh, leaves, put some leaves and some stuff like that on there from like a flower shop or whatever that was fake and, so and uh, nine, zip tied them on there. So 92 was the start of your streak? No, 92 was the first one I killed with a bow. 90 was the start of my streak. 90 was the start of, yeah, so I this year 84. 32. Yes, 32. 32 years in a row. In a row. In Indiana, yes. you killed a, yep. a turkey. I killed a turkey. It's impressive. So, lucky. And you kill and you, so how many of your birds have you killed with a bow? Oh, I don't know. Probably close to a dozen. Mm -hmm. You know, over the years with a compound, with the recurve. The recurve. And the yeah, I've got some pictures in here. What's your preferred method? I love to shoot them with a bow, but honestly, it, it's it's fun about anyway because every hunt's different. Hunting them with a bow, I try to hunt them a little bit different than you're hunting them with a shotgun. And uh, the setups are a little bit different. Shotgun setups can be a bang bang deal, and you can literally just you know, get right up in one's lap and it can happen so fast. Both setups got to be a little more deliberate and planned out, you know, um, or at least for me. When I used to run and gun with a bow, I hunted them just like I hunted them with a shotgun, but it was tough. And that was the one I killed in 92. And then blinds came along and stuff shortly after that. And then things got a little easier. And then, you know, back in the day when we, when we turkey hunted, all you, all you had was a hen decoy and turkeys didn't come in to hen decoys like they come so, in. So yeah, you was telling nowadays. me a little bit about the decoys and how you how they never used them back in the day. Yeah. Because of 
why? Well, back in the day when Ben Lee and a lot of those guys were doing their thing and running around and doing their seminars and stuff, they didn't promote anything. They didn't promote gobbling or anything that looked like a gobbler. They didn't want you to wear anything that had the colors of red, white, or blue or anything for safety reasons. Mm. And then turkey hands made such a progression from those days to now to where we're reaping turkeys and we're using strutting decoys and we're using jake decoys and 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 all this stuff but the you know but all i think a lot of that also has to do with with um learning how turkeys operate so you know when they come into to gobbler decoys or you're reaping them it's an aggressive charging Type deal. Testosterone. Yeah, I mean they're they're ready yeah. to come in, they're ready to fight, and they're sort of oblivious to most things around them, and they just go, you know, just kind of blank. But when they come in with a hen, they would sneak in. You know, they turkeys for years when you hunt them, they would just come in and be sneaking in. You had to be really, really careful. A lot of times they come up through there, and all you just see is their head poke up from behind a hill or something, and that may be the only thing you, you could get a chance to to see mm -hmm. and have to identify the turkey just by the head. Mm -hmm. You know. And, uh, but nowadays, these turkeys, they come right into these decoys and fans and everything else, which makes it way more exciting. Yeah. And uh, you have some off the chart hunts, hunts as yeah. we know. Mm -hmm. five, <laughs> so, five, seven yards. Oh, yeah. yeah. Super say, aggression. What do you think about people that say that, that that's not really the best way? Like it's not fair. Especially on the reaping side of things. I mean, back in the day, would you have thought that reaping was a all fair and non-traditional? Yeah, <laughs> kill them how you can. Because hey, just think about this week. If we hadn't adapted and changed, you know, I mean, Tactics. everybody loves to to call them in. Mm -hmm. The true callers. That's what they want to do. Is they want to call them in. Yeah. You want to kill a turkey. You could. You have to adapt to whatever stage the turkeys are in mm -hmm. to be able to kill a turkey. Yeah. And you're not going to kill them all the same. I mean, sometimes you're going to ambush them. Sometimes you're going to call them in. Sometimes you're going to have some that are gobbling all the way to you and then just blowing the woods up. You know, and then these older turkeys, it seems like the way to kill a lot of these older turkeys is 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 over strutting decoys or jake decoys mm -hmm. and, and, and provoke their dominance, yeah. you know. And uh, it's way more exciting that way. Yeah. So this is it. This is it. So you got this vest in what year? I got this vest in 80. Let me check some pictures here. I can tell you what year I got it. Probably 86, somewhere in that neighborhood. But I bought it in Kentucky. No, it was 97. I'm sorry. But oh. uh, I bought it. I think I bought it on this trip with that guy. Really? Yeah, in Kentucky. So it's been around a while. I mean, it's been involved in a lot of turkey death. So, um, I believe it was an old HS strut vest that I bought in a little store in nowhere, Kentucky. So, Eddie place Salter. my dad used Eddie to take Salter. me. Eddie Salter. He's yeah. the HS strut guy, right? Yeah, well, Matt Moret and those guys, mm -hmm. back when I was calling, that's when all those guys were getting started. Matt, well, not Eddie, but Matt Moret and those guys, that's when they got started. So, mm -hmm. um, we called and my dad was, uh, amateur state champion. I was a runner up. I won the junior division one year and we went and called in some other states and some stuff back in the day, years and years ago, but it didn't last long, just for a few years. And then my dad got tired of it. We so got, what was your go-to call in 19... Well, 19, back then... 1995, I, what was your go-to call? Well, I... Just pull it out of the vest. Whew, 95. I don't even have a call from 95. Um, not a mouth call, but this is an old... Ben Lee champion gobble box that I got probably at one of Ben's seminars who knows how many years ago I don't even know what year I got that to be honest it was signed by him and uh, I really don't hunt with it it's just more of a memorial thing mm -hmm. so what's it do basically just want me to do it yeah, yeah. go ahead okay so like I said I don't use that one much so it's a memorial deal so after all these one. decades of turkey hunting, you're just not tired of it. I don't know. I'm no. I'm not gonna get tired of it. Ever. Ever. I I can't wait till spring every year. Oh, so, nasty. Oh, it's fun oh, stuff. You, you know, so and it, it's a good sport to bring new people into it, just hunting in general, because it's, you know the activity that's involved in interaction with the with the animals. Not most. We're not gonna say all hunts, but most hunts, you're not just sitting around. 
Mm -hmm. You know, interaction. Yeah, it's the interaction. You got birds, you know, they're they're vocal. You're trying to get birds to work. You can move around. You know, I mean, my my son killed his first one when he was six. Mm -hmm. So, and I think he killed nine in a row. Mm -hmm. So, um, and my youngest son, he killed his first one when he was seven. And you and you was with so, him. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, on all of them. Mm -hmm. So, that's how I, how I got my kids in, into hunting. Yeah, you know. From turkey, from turkey oh yeah, because you know kids can't sit still; it gets boring deer hunting. Yeah, a so it's a lot so, different than climbing a, a tree things. stand and sitting there and waiting. And yeah, there's a lot of fun. Seems like right there. off the bat, you know, you've got one guy one on the roost. Oh yeah, who doesn't like that? Yeah, I don't. You know, don't somebody's know. first expression, even an adult, and you take them, and they hear a turkey gobble, and they're like, "Oh, that's awesome." You know, like, yeah. what is that? No, that's a turkey. You're like, Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's awesome. And then they finally get to see one that's coming in, that's strutting, doing its thing, displaying for hens. I mean, how do you not love that? No, I, I, you know? I don't know. I mean, we got a guy here that's a first time turkey hunter, and I'm thinking that he had a good time. Yeah. Oh, well, he had a good time, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> we go, for we sure. go, from, we go from, we go from a rookie to a, to a seasoned vet. So I think he's hooked. One more thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One more thing to fit into your schedule. My wife is gonna hate you, Snyder. Oh man, I'm telling you, that's well, all right. We we wanted a backstory from a from a perspective of you've done it your whole life and why it still means the world to you. So that's what we wanted to capture here and let people know. And we're gonna re we're we're gonna rewind. What has it been? Five days? About five, five days, days ago, yeah. me and Travis here went on his 32nd straight turkey hunt in Indiana, and we're gonna we're gonna show you that hunt. We're out the night before turkey season trying to figure out which gobbler we're going to try to get on in the morning. If we can find one. If we can find one. So we just keep running into uh, groups of jakes and uncertainty of the one bird that we're trying to iron out. So we're basically at wit's ends not knowing what to do. But we'll figure it out.
you're kidding. <laughs> what? Son, can you, what just happened? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh my God. Hey, what just happened? It's 12 minutes to seven. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> the 410 strikes again. <laughs> We're fixing to get him, dude. It's gonna be ugly. It's gonna, dude, it's gonna be so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> the guys get here, we're gonna get them. Unbelievable. <laughs> Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Another double, double beard. beard. What? That's my first double beard. <laughs> I never killed a double beard. All these years of turkey hunting, I never killed a double beard. Double beard. I've hunted since 1984 and never killed a double bearded turkey <laughs> until today. No joke, dude. That's crazy. I mean. Alright, here we are, opening morning, Indiana season, and I'm done.